Ultra Books. You. Very, oh, all right. <laughs> that you too. <laughs> So we're talking about Intel Wide-Eye Technology, and what it is is wireless display from your Ultrabook to the big screen near you. So you guys are going to get your cameras ready, because I'm going to show you the money shot. You ready for this? Well, get ready and look at the screen of the TV. So right now, we're connected actually through this neck here over here, the only top device. We're giving you some more options this year, though. You can actually also connect through PlayStation 3. You can also connect through a U-verse, but watch this. Here it comes. Get the camera ready. Now we have actual wide-eye enabled televisions as well. So this TV is a Samsung TV. It's enabled with wide-eye inside, so you're able to connect directly as the TV as a receiver to your Ultrabook. There's also an LG model behind me as well. So this is a Samsung LG model behind me too, giving you more options to connect to a big screen near you. Awesome. So it's so good to see all of your smiling faces. Where are those smiles, John? Phone. Yes. Or a laptop. Just something. Yes. Okay. You got a handheld. Cool. Picture this. You don't have to close your eyes, but you can if you want. It helps for you. Picture getting in your car, doing all the things that you do now that you shouldn't be doing in your car. Right? Let's. You do do your makeup. I knew it. I knew you were the one. You can't do anything about the car. So you'll be able to do all of this. Without messing with your devices, you will actually be able to use voice recognition, talk to your car's intelligence, and everything will be done for you. So you can do what? Keep your eyes on the road, drink coffee, and eat your donut. Okay, do you want to? Uh, I'm looking at everyone. Yeah. It's, it's professional. He's the major mobster. That's so, why. All right, Ron, let's go. Let's go together. Everybody has their hand up, right? Yeah. I'm going to get in first. Okay. All right. Come on, one at a time. Watch out for the door. <laughs> Everybody in. Okay. Watch out for the door. Okay. Oh, that's my car. Safety. Okay. <laughs> now, picture this. While you have just gotten into the car, your handheld device. Oh, nice. Look at you. I love you. I was driving, anything that happens is his fault. Yep. In fact, I'm going to make sure we have an accident just because you're driving. <laughs> so now everything's been connected. Okay, your handheld device or your laptop is just connected. You don't even need it out. It doesn't have to be out. Just in the car. So now you are connected with your car's intelligence, which means, Paul, now you don't have to take out your phone anymore. You can just tell the car what you want. So we found your room. She knows how you're getting to work. And the car she tells you is just about traffic. So we're going to be late today. But since we're going to be in the car for a little while, the car's intelligence is going to remember what you were listening to on your handheld. Music can offer that. It'll give you a chance to change it. So now, we're picking up three more people. Good morning, guys. And as each person gets in, their handheld is also connecting. See that? So they're all in now. So now we have four people in the car. Hi. Now they're back here. See this? Now they are connected. Right? So everyone is a monitor. Everyone's connected. Now remember, we have bus into a little traffic. The boss, we need to tell the boss that we just need some traffic. So we call her, we just tell the car's intelligence to call, and there we are. So we're talking about the fact that we're late, but we're not using our phone at all. And because the car's intelligence is linked up to our laptop or our phone and our calendars, we can actually bring it up. The car will bring it up and change your 10 o'clock to 11 because the snow knows what's going on. Amazing? Yes, sort of. Right? Hold up, you see my next one. <laughs> Not yet. So now we're in the car. Now we're in the car. Hi. We're totally connected. I'm, I'm going to, can I be with you in one minute when I finish? Don't go anywhere. So now we're completely connected with all of our devices. <coughs> and you know we've got a little extra time. Because we're late. You know what? Why don't we send an email? So we tell the car. Let's draft an email. The intelligence in the car brings up your email and actually drafts it for you via dictation. Your email is ready for review. So there you go. Now, 
check the email. Your email. The contact okay. information's in your phone or your laptop. It's already connected, so it just goes. Hands free. Is that awesome? Restaurant reservations, faxes, movie tickets, travel and reservations, all with your voice and the car. Do you love that? Oh, nice. What about security? Yeah. Florida? Wisconsin? Canada. Hey! <laughs> All right, Ron's picking up a box. So here we have um, a sample of all kinds of salads. An enhanced reality with the Lego box. Intel Core i7 processor. But the way it works is it has a camera up here that acts as your input device, and it's using this as a trigger, the actual product package. It's using image recognition technology to know exactly what to render on screen at any given time. There are markers on the box, and it uses this as a, a reference point. So if you take it further away from the camera, then it becomes smaller, and when you rotate it, it knows exactly how to change the orientation and position of the actual 3D models shown on it.